you guys have people that are showing their fucking buttholes and then he gets money for it, he gets monetized and he's allowed to make these videos. What makes a person get the permission to say the N word? You just, you don't only spit in my face, you spit on the billions of people that watch my videos. I want to apologize. For absolutely not giving a fuck! Well, 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 it's finally come to the point where I have to talk about the infamous Master Ugwe. The guy, the myth, the man, the message, the, blah, the, the whatever, right? The guy himself. The guy who used to make motivational videos about No Nut November and how you gotta keep going in there. Oh, you don't gotta bush. If you bust a nut, you're a simp. Once No Nut November has ended. <laughs> You shall have transcended. And then after you No know, Nut November ended, and his like, his like, kind of peak, he started making videos with OnlyFans girls, and he's like, You shall not sim! Er, I'm Master Ugwe! Right, and that. And then after some time, he upgraded his channel into making shit posts. Fully shit posts. Right ass! You got me fucked up! I'll your uh, not the funny kind where it's like you don't know what the fuck's happening like like uh like you're actually going insane shit post the type of shit post where it's like oh what the fuck <laughs> what the fuck he's also delved into a music career which is what is kind of fucking him over right now i mean as we all know when youtube creators dive into youtube careers it usually ends bad but this time it really it really ended bad for him because i mean master uwe did some dumb shit he made a song called adolf is my n-word now of course i can't play it because youtube has taken it down but i can just show you this as a screenshot it's still up on slow reverb guy as a slow down and reverb version i gotta sneeze really badly yeah but a slow down reverb version has been uploaded and i might be able to play this without getting my video taken down if i take it back at some point you'll understand and watch I, I, I think you understand what the meaning of it is. On Genius 2, uh, let's just look at the Genius page for a second. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck this song. <laughs> Whoever listens to this on a daily basis are bed shitters who don't understand basic. <laughs> yeah, he said the n-word. And he also posted multiple videos where he said just the n-word, just by itself. Like this. Turns out, my great 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 grandparents were slaves during the Ottoman Empire. Because I hear Mexican people say the N-word, and I hear black people say the N-word, and many other races as well. Technically, since my grand great 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 grandparents are slaves, I am allowed to say it as well. Guys, I'm never going to say this word in an offensive way. Yeah, so he did end up saying it in an offensive way. And also, like, I don't know if I'm wrong about this. If I'm wrong about this, comment down below and correct me because I always love, like, getting corrected. Only black people are allowed to say the N-word. Am I wrong about this? Uh, like, uh, from what I'm seeing, dude, unless your skin has a lot of melanin in it, you are not allowed to say the N-word. <laughs> and also, just, uh, like, like, he's not only hated because he said the N-word, of course. He's also hated because he's homophobic. He just loves hating every, like, person that's the same. He's made fun of every race. Every race. This man has pure blood, like, hatred in his heart. Now, he did say he's from Amsterdam. He's currently living in Amsterdam. What famous birthday says? He's born in Turkey. That doesn't change anything. But one of his arguments is that his reasoning for, like, he's like, oh, yeah, by the way, blackface is popular in my country, just so you know. Yeah, but you didn't, you didn't put on blackface. You're not, you didn't put on blackface. You just said the word blackface black people say because why the fuck not why the fuck not but yeah he also got banned off of tiktok because he made a song called adolf is my n-word <laughs> like i don't think that needs to be explained why he got banned off of it samuel on twitter he said he said this master Uwe has been banned on tiktok uh, following his use of the n-word and praising him as a dark humor test apparently this was to prove a point and show how corrupt tiktok in the music industry is what the fuck <laughs> claiming the, that he broke the out the matrix to prove a point thoughts on this what the fuck and then master uwe also posted it's over guys after four years of making dark humor content i'm officially getting canceled no shit you're getting canceled you said the n-word and you hated on minorities you've made so many racist jokes i don't know and the punchline as my friends 
said. The punchline in his videos is always like, Hey, guys, I just said something racist. Please laugh. Pl please laugh. And it works because every YouTube short viewer is either 12 or a 40 year old. Nine. I'm just saying. Shout out to all my shorts creator friends. But like, y'all know your viewers and they're not they're not normal people shorts viewers are not normal the only time i use shorts is when instagram reels is not working and then master we also said i wanted to prove a point with this song to show how the irony of tiktok the fact that this that it bans you if you say these things in a normal video but when you say it in a song they allow they allow it which is crazy in my mind all uh, right yeah just a weird guy sometimes you gotta break the matrix <laughs> Guys, I said the n-word in a song as a white man and also praised one of the worst people of this like of the world like ever I broke the matrix. They banned me. I broke the matrix. I said it all is my friend they, uh, i broke the matrix guys music industry is corrupt my account is banned yet the sound is up on tiktok you know the cool thing is i'm sure the music industry is corrupt a hundred percent from all the ghostwriter stories i've heard about from all the stories from the industry i'm sure my fucking idol is corrupt but this shit is not corrupt you're just being a dumbass you literally you make racist jokes and all that shit and when it finally got reported to tiktok and they saw oh wait this guy's hurting minorities and and other groups of people with his videos you were like what wait, wait i got that guys this is literally oppression guys they're literally oppressing my opinion guys guys why can't i be racist on tiktok i really want to be racist on tiktok a tweet by alex g on music if you ever wonder why it took so long for master weird to get called out 99 percent of youtube shorts fans are literal nazis. this is the comment section of a video about his his horrible plans for if he won world war ii and as i said either they're 12 year old kids or 40 year old nazis on youtube shorts oh uh, that's all i'm saying if you upload on youtube shorts sure yeah you're good you're not you're not one of those and then he shows a few comment sections from this video and yeah man these these they don't look that good for uh yeah yeah man i i, I don't want to read this out because it's just i don't we all know how bad it's, it's not that bad. It's not that hard to say. Oh, Hitler was a horrible person. He killed 7 million Jews. It's not that hard, dude. I, I think that's the main thing you think of, of a, when you think of a bad person. It's either the devil or him. Those two guys. Maybe stop. No one else. There's no one else you think of. But for some reason, Master Wei found it funny to say, hey, but by the way, guys, hit the worst person ever. My guy. And then Master Wei goes on this literal 10, 10 year old thing where he's like, what is going on? How can you remove a song from of mine and bay me if this exists? And then he shows a Kevin Leonardo video. You guys have people that are showing their fucking buttholes. You can straight up see this fucking butt hair, his fucking sphincter, everything. And then he gets money for it. He gets monetized and he's allowed to make these videos. Now I do have to talk about Kevin Leonardo another day because this guy's a whole nother story. This guy's weird as fuck. I, I'm sure y'all have seen him before. Uh, he has a video on uh, YouTube. You just gotta search up Kevin Leonardo near and you'll find the best Easter egg on YouTube. It's literally the best Easter egg. But yeah, I, I think Matthew Wit is really just being a kid in this situation. I mean, bro, he is 25 years old acting like a toddler. On, tw on fucking Instagram reels and YouTube shorts. Who would have thought the guy, the guy was used to say, you shall not nut because that is bad and it's uh, no, not November. Turned out to be a raging racist, homophobic, ableist, and uh, a douchebag. Master Uwe is YouTube's biggest douchebag. Ah, ah, he said it, he said it. I've been bobbing on too long. See y'all.